flashback. Grandpa. Oh, it's so good to see you again, sweetie. Oh man, it's like when Zarki tries to do like an old man voice. I was slipped into a giant bear who we both laughed as he swung me around like an airplane. It was one of my favorite things about seeing my grandfather that he always greeted me, unlike my father. My grandfather was loving and playful, even as I grew older. That's a weird sentence. Sorry that Daddy couldn't be here today. He was... Uh, he said that he wasn't feeling good again. It always been like that. I missed every visit to Grandpa's house, saying he was busy with work or wasn't feeling Is well. Is that so? Well, that's okay. Daddy can come around next time. And you're here, right? Yes, this is what old people sound like. Uh, yes, yeah, so what are we doing today, Gramps? Mom said that there was a new desert, desert, des de desert, desert, desert cafe opening in town. Oh, Can I would love to. But I've been so busy with the company these days. We're actually working on a little something. Would you like to see? It is. I was designing a new line of them. But I feel like something's missing. You don't think you could help me out? Grandpa used me to play test fucking toys. You son of a bitch. Plays a toy in my hand and <laughs> smile. I expect you carefully. It was beautifully crafted. Obviously a lot of work put into it. There's one thing. So, what do you think? I think the heart on its chest would should light up when you hug it. It'll be like it's alive. And it can be a little nightlight before you sleep. Yeah, that's, that's what determines whether there's something's alive or not. You know, glowing heart-shaped orbs on their chest. But, you know, whatever. We're a stupid kid. He starts his chest considering my impulse while nodding his head. After a few moments, he signed deliberately. Silent deliberation, he turned to That's the That's a great room. idea! I'll get to changing it right away. You're always like my little lucky, lucky charm, charm Gary. You, you always know, know what to, time uh, to, to make the, the perfect, perfect toy. toy. And you're helping me make so much goddamn money, you little bitch. I can hope I can be like you one day, you Grandpa. You want to make toys as well? Sure. Making people happy is pretty good. I uh, know I want to make toys Don't when I grow up, though. Don't worry too much about it. You have plenty of time to decide. Besides, you should do what makes you happy as well. That makes sense, Daddy. Doesn't think of the same way, though. Oh, shit. I fucked that up. <laughs> that makes sense. Period. Daddy doesn't think the same way, though. Your father. I'm sure he just wants the best for you. I'm not so sure about that. Considering that we're heir to all of this fucking money, and that I'm pretty much very well off as it is. Sweetie, look at me. I've been down, you've been down to look at me, I love a lot, it's fucking, you know, listen to what I'm saying, with a serious look on his face. As much as your father may say something that doesn't make sense now, you must remember that he's always thinking about you. He loves you, there's no doubt about that, and you need to love him just as equally. Hey, I'm entitled to my emotions, Grandpa, I don't hate Daddy, alright? I just wish he would, you know, be more communicative with his feelings, alright? Your father Feels and I like he hates me sometimes. With each other in the past. But it's nothing that you should be concerned about. Uh, he doesn't really seem to be trying to make an effort to, you know, make reparations. I hear tidbits from my mother and various other people. What the fuck is the piano popping off right now? What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. The only people who stayed quiet were my father and grandfather, both who refrained from saying a word about the subject matter. But it's clear that whatever happened set up a wall between them. You see, Grandpa stole me. <laughs> Puzzled my dad's first girlfriend, dude. It's hard to try to pretend this is the only room or nothing. No matter what, you have to stay strong. You're a big girl already, and, well, there'll come a day when it seems like it's you against the world. But always remember that your family and friends will be here with you. Oh, my God. Daddy, Mommy, your friends at school, me, we'll stand together to get through it. The fuck is happening? How can you be so because sure of that? we'll be right here and here. Dang, dude. I'm kind of fucked up that you're dead now, huh? Point his feet to my head and then he pointed to my chest. So stay strong. Promise? For a moment he looked all sad, pleading. But as quickly as it had come, the expression disappeared from his face and he was all smiles once again. I promise. Hearing that gobble, little good burst of laughter. All <laughs> right then, enough of that. How about I whip up some special homemade dessert? I know I can't accompany you at that new cafe, but we sure can talk and eat while I cook and do some paperwork. Thanks, Grandpa. Hey, slow down there. 
I'm not what I used to be. <laughs> you will made you willed me the very home I love to see you in. It's a I don't think I've ever heard someone use the term you willed me before. That's, that's weird. A surge of anger bubbled within me, but I quickly swallowed it. There was no use in getting mad, especially when the person in question was no longer there. I'm sorry, it's hard to stay calm and there's left me with so many questions. Especially about what happened to getting you and my dad. What am I doing? Talking to a grave. My vision blurred to the silly way as I was crying. My face is heated with the tears rolling down my chest. Or cheeks, I didn't miss paying attention. I'll bring you some flowers later. I miss you, Grandpa. I'll try my best to fulfill my promise I gave you. Even the world we even if the world might be turning against me. I left the grave, wiping the tears hastily so my parents wouldn't see. Well, it's time to head back home. I'll cook up your favorite lasagna when we get home, okay? Thanks, Mom. However, my dad didn't speak the entire drive home. I wanted to talk to him, but after his moment at the funeral, I wasn't sure that was a good idea. It's about time we took off those dreary black clothes. Yes. Gathering my courage, I decided it was time to talk. Dad, can I ask you something? Go ahead. Why do you want me to move into the estate so soon? I thought I made that rather clear. The college near your grandfather's house is well known for its business program. You are planning to major in business, yes? Hey everyone, if you want to start a company and run a company, you know, ma majoring in business isn't a great idea, that's not, that's not what they're looking for. I forget the thing that they're actually looking for, but it's not business. It's not, it's not a great degree. Right after you graduate from high school, you'll just live there and can easily commute to and from school. It's a perfect fit for you. Yeah, you didn't really explain any of that, you know, at the funeral. Uh, don't be so sensitive. If you you're like funeral. that in the real world, you'll be crushed. Yeah, you know. Especially since I'm apparently going to be running business. Maybe we can talk a bit more about my future. After you graduate from college, you'll work at Anderson Family Toys. I have connections since I am part of the board of directors, so you will be guaranteed a spot. That is what we talked about before, yes? But Stop what? mumbling! What if I don't want to work there? Don't be silly. It's the family company. Our company. I'm not just going to hand it over to some incompetent vice chairman. I'm close to me and his face softened. Look, this is all for the best, okay? You may not know it right now, but you will appreciate it later. For some reason, when I heard him say that, something snapped in me. I wasn't really sure, but it made me feel so angry. Do you care that Grandpa passed of away? Of course I do. Well, everything seems fine and dandy to you. Things couldn't be Excuse better. Excuse me? I don't like your tone, young lady. Yeah, I'm very clearly angry, stupid. Come on. Nothing ever happened at all. Like, you just ignore the fact that he's no longer do here. Do not raise your voice at me. I don't, I don't think you're realizing what I'm trying to say. What do you ever do to you to deserve this? My father. His face hardened, crossed arms, roughly anger laughed. Ha! <laughs> you sure place him upon a pedestal. Like he's some kind of venerated god or something. It makes me sick. He was nice to me. I am a child. Ah, oh God. <sighs> I gotta channel my inner teen angst, guys. Is that it? Are you happy to see your grandfather's dead while everyone else was grieving? You just hold yourself up back from laughing at everyone's faces? Did you feel a bit happier to see his life in grave? Flash of rage crossed his face and he whipped me across his hand. He whips his head and back of his hand across my face. You don't know anything. Running your mouth like somehow you know everything that went on. That's why I'm when asking you're just you. Just a little girl that doesn't know how to keep her mouth shut. That's literally why I'm asking you, so you can explain to me. You did not know my father. You did what, not know what he was capable of. Which is why I'm asking. Is everything all right? What happened? Nothing. I'm hungry. I think I'll just go upstairs. Honey, wait! I be turning right upstairs in my room, slamming the door behind me. My breath came in short pants for when I was just leaning against my bedroom door, slowly sliding against it until I sat and sitting down. 
How did things become like this? My cheeks looked throb. I tenderly stood up and looked at the mirror to see how it looked. Hopefully it didn't bruise. <laughs> what am I saying? Tears formed the corners of my eyes and I blinked back and I blinked them back rapidly. I couldn't cry for a second time today. I had to be stronger than that. Are you all right? Your father told me nothing happened, but you know your father. Yeah, he just lies to me and is like a terrible husband all the time, you know. I'm fine, I just lost my the appetite. The lasagna's done, though. And I don't want you skipping any meals. Are you sure? You don't worry about me, Mom. I'm kind of size later to eat, I guess. You're not telling me the whole story. Yeah, apparently you didn't hear your husband yelling. I just don't want to eat right now. Please, dear. Tell me what's going on. I wish you would tell me why you're being like this. And I wish that people would explain things also, instead of just acting irrationally on emotions. I wanted to tell her. The prime was screaming me to tell Dad that had, or Dad, that had to tell me, tell me to tell her what Dad had done. And at the same time, I knew that she couldn't fix anything. Besides, I was smoothing out regardless. I remained silent. I mean, the event remained in the well, past. I'll leave your food on the table if you want to eat it later. Bitch, throw this shit in the microwave so it doesn't get dry. If it's fucking lasagna, it's gonna get all gross. <sighs> Amateurs. It was strange to think that she had only had a few inches away from me, but we were separated by a single wooden door. I really didn't know what to do. I needed to do something, anything, to get my mind off what just happened. Anything would be better than thinking anything more than the pain still radiating from my cheek. I was going to move to my grandfather's house tomorrow. Wow. I, apparently I graduated today. <laughs> it was a busy day. Full day. Probably pack my stuff so I can be prepared for school tomorrow. Yeah, that was a good idea. I should start packing. I opened the closet, rummaging around for a while before I finally found two large bags, pulling them out to the floor, and then began to empty my drawers and cabinets so I could bring all my things with me. I didn't have much to bring other than just clothes and some toiletries. It was kind of bizarre that I didn't have many personal belongings. It's almost as if this is convenient for the sake of the story. It wasn't as though my luggage was completely devoid of them, but I certainly didn't have many things in the room that I would miss if I just suddenly left the house. I shook my head to rid myself of those thoughts. If there was going to be any in my new home, I should feel like it one way or another. I was going to make it home. Oh shit, copyright. Oh, what's that? My ringtone kicked ass. I sent my phone out. It's <laughs> a sweet AMV for my ringtone, dude. I sent my phone to fucking answer. I was slowly easing myself under my bed. Who could possibly be calling? Hey, Anderson, you there? Hey, my Is friends. Is everything alright? We were worried about you, so we decided to call. Collectively, as a group. Hello? I'm really glad you guys called. My voice managed to come out though, it was only a whisper. What happened? Are you okay? Well, I'm using an iPhone, so. Yeah, I think I would. I, I don't know how gold this game is. iPhones, they're fine. So they begin to tell them about the funeral, small signs to follow, I don't know what happened, I have my leaf, her name if I, I spoke up. Nah, it's cool. Just come over tomorrow to my sick mansion. I have daddy issues. Of course. We'd stay on the phone until the crack of dawn. Right, Suzu? Yeah. You were always here if you need us. After all, we wouldn't be the awesome triple threat trio without you, right? <laughs> yeah. Triple threat That's trio? That sounds like the name of a gang. No, it doesn't. You're really stupid, Naomi. Yeah, I mean, we're all oh, taking God. on the world together. We've stupid. got to sound somewhat scary, or else no one's going to take us seriously. What's with you and naming things? I don't know, no, they're really bad. You've got to step up your game, Naomi. Falling behind to the cool kids like Anderson and me. <laughs> hey, I'm a cool kid. Oh, God. If anything, I say you have to step up your game. Jay, cheer for me, but all sorts of things. Very soon, I had gone. I'd forgotten about the events of the day and was engaged in conversation about Naomi's favorite TV show, something called Herlock. Ooh, it's a little on the nose. <laughs> we all agreed that the actor playing the titular character certainly had a very distinctive look about him, a very long overcoat and scarf wrapped around his neck. We made disagreements about who we thought was the coolest character, and yeah, I, yeah, he has really high cheekbones and his eyes are pretty, though I would have to say I prefer Jatson, for both of his actors just so sassy. Like the clock hanging in the wall and realized how late it was. Well, it's already 1 a.m. Damn, bitch, we got school tomorrow. God, be responsible. <laughs> so, we're keeping you guys up so late. I think I'm going to hit the hay for tonight. See you guys at school tomorrow. 
I know I fucking graduated. I'm fucking. Uh, I went to a funeral. I finished a school project. I had a full ass day, dude. Like fucking, I'd be tired. I probably should go to bed. I can't believe I stayed up this late just to talk to friends. But it was really nice. Out oh, to the bathroom I go. I think a relaxing shower at 1 a.m. Nothing can beat hot water and the feeling of being clean. I agree. I like I like taking showers. I usually take cold showers. After drying myself, I promptly dress in my pajama jammy jams and crawl into bed. Nice hot shower, a long day, and finally to bed. It had been a really long day. I knew that I was wishing for something to change back in class, and I certainly wasn't expecting anything to happen today. <laughs> I have to go back to school tomorrow. I closed my side and rightly raked my blankets around me. I really wasn't in the mood to be returning to school, but my dad probably wouldn't make me go just for the sake of it. Time to go to sleep. Raise the lamp, turn off the light. However, my mind was so lost in passing my grandfather that I thought of inheriting something so big that it had haunted my mind the entire night till the next morning. I shook my head and tried to clear the first sleepiness out of me with no avail. I really didn't get any sleep last night. It's already time to wake up. Oh, this man, school sucks. As soon as I realized I had to go to school, I slid out of bed and looked over the vanity mirror. That's a relief. Luckily, there was barely a bruise on my cheek. He had his squint to actually see it, and I doubt anyone would actually notice it unless they leaned in really close. Bearing out of sight, I got dressed, took my backpack, and caught the bus to go to school. Dang. They won't even drive me. <laughs> it wasn't even hours before everyone heard the news, and I had approached the school and given condolences of my loss. However, it wasn't what shocked my friends. Wait. So you have the whole Anderson house to yourself? Lucky as hell, man! I mean, my grandpa <clears throat> died. Quit being so sensitive, Naomi. My grandpa Quit died. being so vulgar, Suzu! <sighs> I just don't like Naomi. <sighs> Naomi's right, though. She's being kind of a bitch. But Suzu's like way hotter. I'm gonna go with Suzu. I'm gonna go with Suzu. Of course you would side with her! See, at least she knows how to have fun. I know I how to have fun. To you don't need to be wild to have fun. Is it really wild to enjoy inheriting a mansion? <sighs> when you think about it, I don't even think I have the taxes to pay for that mansion. Like, I'm gonna lose it like in two, three years. I mean, realistically. Seriously, it hasn't even been a day since you came back to school. Yeah, but my parents want me to live there, Still, specifically my dad, because really he's kind of a dick. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'm gonna buy a dog. It's gonna be sick. Yeah, rescue one. Oof! Hey, don't go around shoving people like that. Whoops! Did I strike a nerve, Capini? So a small laugh as you twirled your hair around your finger. Was that one of the last people I wanted to see today? It's not me. You should be apologizing to. Oh, Anderson. Hey, how's it going? I'm already. Uh, know. having you of what? Her grandfather's passing. Ah, uh, well, I'm sorry about that. It doesn't really sound like you mean it. I do mean it. Er Typical Capini. Isn't her family involved with the mafia or something? I wouldn't be surprised if she brought out the bat from behind her back right this moment. I knew the guy from behind the crowd that followed his head, which was mostly comprised of people that no one wanted to see in a typical school day. I thought she was really popular with everyone. No one had a slice idea why exactly they followed his around persistently, but they labeled themselves as social equals with her. That is out of line! Suzu comes from an honest family, says the one whose family profits from political scandals. Yeah, your dad doesn't make anything unless he's in the court with dirty politicians. <laughs> hey. Let's all calm down for a second, all right? I'm sure Anderson needs some time to recuperate. I mean, what? Hmm? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh shit, everyone's surprised. Shay, happy to see that you already have everything you've wanted, and you seem like this, life can't get any better. But it's stuffed into me, and the words start flying out of my mouth without a filter. But honestly, I didn't care. I was so consumed by anger that I couldn't, you know, the anger that my father was redirecting into me was now backlashing out into the people of my life. Because that's how that works. Brought back to school hallway, and even my friends were silent. They looked at me with surprise. One girl looked like she was going to speak up, but Lizette had her hand up to stop her. The only emotion in her face I could couldn't make out was some form of pity in her eyes. No, don't you dare pity me. I own a mansion now. 
<laughs> anyway, from anyone seeing the emotion in your eyes, it's too funny. I feel like the best thing to do would just been probably just to walk away and not let this go into a thing, because, you know, you can be bigger people than all this, but I guess I am a high school girl. I'm sorry. I know your grandfather passing away. Victoria may put her hand on my shoulder, giving me a tiny smile. As if for old time's sake, but for some reason I didn't feel comforted at all. Not that I was just angry at her, but the expression of her face is... Looks like to me, Victoria did something complex. Something different about her. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but... Something had definitely changed. Well, I'll be going for now. Track meet responsibilities and all of that stuff. See you later. Was that maybe feeling day? I wasn't just angry, but also uneasy. What was it? I'd never seen her like that before. But I had decided to put for no further attention to it, so she continued running down the hallway and a gaggle of friends behind her. I focused my attention to Mrs. Philip, who was walking down the hall towards me. Is everything all right, girls? Dang, you didn't want to step in when fucking I was getting trashed on, hmm? You fucking bitch. Nothing we couldn't handle, Mrs. P. Just a bunch of snobs. Suzu, hush! It was nothing, Mrs. Phillips. Remember, Suzu, stitches get snitches. Oh, wait, fuck. Snitches get stitches. Please accept my condolences for your loss. Thanks, Miss Fallon. Your grandfather was a good man. He really upheld the philanthropy of his company's policies. Yeah, I'm and my the dad money that. that went towards charity. He beats me, fun. and probably my mom. <laughs> he was amazing. I looked up to him and I wanted to be his Well, business. I know that you'll be as great as your grandfather. Hell yeah, she will. She'll be ten times better than her grandfather. Would I? Would I really be better than my grandfather? Everyone seemed to have high expectations for me. I wanted to do my best and make my family proud, but to be better than my grandfather. I started a business from the ground up, but I wasn't sure about that. From outside the school window, I saw a familiar blue car pull up to the curb, undoubtedly with my father in the driver's seat. Okay, my ride's here. I guess the school's over? And everyone just apologized to me after school was over? Want us to come with you? Nah, I'm gonna go check out my mansion by myself. It's gonna be right. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I can save. Let's save. It'd be a good idea. That's okay. I'll be fine. See ya. You know, for a game about getting seduced by boys, this is a lot of time, like, before boys. Hey, honey. You know, it's really crazy to me that, uh, this guy, I, I mean, I had to take a bus to school, but my dad is willing to pick me up from school. I mean, why not have my mom do this? Or why not my mom be the one taking me? Take, does my mom do anything? I don't know. As I got into the car, I noticed my father looking trouble, clutching at his steering wheel and staring straight ahead as if something was really bothering him. Um, about what happened yesterday. I'm sorry for yelling at you. Does your cheek still hurt? So I'm going to go ahead and assume that this was like a one-time thing. Emotions were high. I won't hold it against him at this point. I mean, he is apologizing. Uh, it's still pretty uncool. Uh... But at least he's apologizing. He understands that he was being a dick. And that said something. I mean it. I shouldn't have laid a finger on you. Yeah, right, right. You know that you're my most precious daughter. You're all that I have. Let you fucking try to I... gaslight me, you bitch. He can himself bring himself to say what he can never say to me before for such a long time. I don't hear this word affirm how he really felt, but I guess he, even now, he couldn't say it to me. I turned my head toward out the window, and it was not quite ready for something that was never going to come. And like that, I said he started to drive a conversation between us had ended. I started to focus my attention on the passing scenery. You're taking the, the usual route to Grandfather's house, the usual route that my dad never took, because he never went with me. It was located within the vicinity of the school district, but it was still pretty far from the school, from where our house was. He'd always lived alone, and he insisted doing things by himself, even at his age, living in this large house. I wondered, did he pass it no one at his side as well? It sounds so lonely and sad. It's strange that he decided living all alone in this large estate. If anything, he could have lived with us. That he and my father probably would have given each other a silent treatment the entire time. Living, maybe living alone was preferable to that. I actually, hasn't visited him for quite a while. Visits to his house were most frequent when I was a child. And I had been growing up, grown up long since then. Last time I visited, though, he looked really like he just like he usually did, happy and healthy. 
But things changed in the back of my mind. I knew that we would have to leave one day. It was not like humans could live forever. So why did my heart still feel so heavy? The car ride was spent in silence until he spoke up again. How was school? Maintaining your grades, I hope. There's apps for that. You can check out my fucking grades, you bitch. Trying? Okay. That's not really doing the best you can, is it? Really? Yeah, you can go with that. <sighs> with my father's some words, I still had to focus through his ears, and it was difficult to keep up with conversations that eventually tagging the academics into my future, even though it was something we, you know, something we were using based on. He just wanted to integrate whenever we were anyway, talking. Anyway, your belongings are in the trunk. Thanks. There isn't a lot, so I'm sure you can manage bringing them inside the house. After all, you are on the road to being independent now. Yes, I can manage on my own, and I'm going to be independent, even though your entire plan for me is to give me a job in which I do not have to be independent and work on my own to get it. These were silences in between us. I wasn't really sure that he was willing to say around him, especially most of the time we didn't share the same opinions. Once question did linger in my mind, though, I was going to... He was going to just find it so natural. I could clearly at least he would know why. I'm going to try that shit again. What about you? We are not talking about this. Why not? I feel like we should be, because Grandpa did leave us. I wouldn't care if he had left even long before that. I do not want to hear it, and that is the end of this conversation.